So what we're going to be creating today in JS Paint is a Jean-Michel Basquiat inspired artwork. So what you need to do is you can do this on JS Paint or you can do it on paper. We're going to be thinking about the Hispanic Americans that have made contributions in the PBS video. And we're going to be doing images in a Jean Basquiat style based on them. So if you remember, there was an astronaut, there was a professional golfer, there was um, someone who helped with the standards of farming, there was someone who worked on making medicine, which could be like science-based, and there was a woman that was the first to be part of the US Congress. So take a few minutes to think about what kind of images come from astronauts, professional golfers, farms, medicine, science, and politics. And what we're, you're gonna do is you're going to create kind of a mural or an image based on a few of those things. Remember yours does not have to look exactly like mine. And really, I'm just gonna be showing you bas the basic kind of style in which you should be doing your image. If you need a second, you can also go look at the Basquiat um, images in the video. So that way you can have a reference of what I'm talking about. So for mine, I'm gonna to try to use most of these and I'm gonna to try to do some overlapping. Um, I think space is an interesting one to start with. So I'm going to do a planet. And I'm gonna make the planet the main part of my artwork. So I'm gonna start with a circle. And then I'm going to try to draw the rings around. I remember Basquiat's style was not like picture perfect. It was graffiti. It was kind of um, these like kind of interesting looking characters. They didn't have to be perfect. The next thing I want to do, I'm going to do some interesting kind of designs on this. Um, the next one I want to do is medicine and um, science. So, Adam's kind of like the planet, if you think about it. And we can see how we're so fun. Yeah. Kind of would look like um, electrons going around the atom. And I'm gonna to attempt to draw some, which, which might look kind of funny, but that's okay. Aha, that looks more like an atom. What else was inspiring about that, um, who we saw? Let's see here. So for farms, maybe I would, I know planets don't actually exist on land, but maybe I'd make a horizon line and do some sort of land behind my planet, which seems kind of silly, but this is my artwork and I'm just thinking outside the box. So I drew a line and went all the way across and maybe I'll keep bucket it in. Um, so I have science, I have space, I have what will be farm, um, and I think I'm going to stop there. Remember, you can do whatever you'd like. Now, with Basquiat, there are lots of expressive lines and boxes of color. There's also a lot of um, use of words if you'd like to use words. So I think whatever you do, you should concentrate on trying to use lots of lines and colors to make your artwork interesting. If there's not a color you see down here, if you double click, you can kind of create a new color. Cool. You kind of just have fun creating an image that reminds you of a Basquiat. So lots of texture, maybe lots of repetition. 
one thing I could do, this is a spray can, which, you know, kind of makes you think of graffiti. Um, I'm going to copy and paste my atom a lot. So I'm going to, and this means I'm going to, let's just use the background, I'm going to select it, use your selection tools, and I'm going to copy. And hopefully I can paste this somewhere else. Oh, there you go. You can also use keyboards, shortcuts, control C, control V. Control V, another one. And I'm just pasting and it will end up over here. I'm gonna make So have fun. Remember that it is your artwork and it can look however you'd like it. Um, but try to concentrate on making your artwork kind of look like something that would resemble a Basquiat painting with lots of lines, lots of repetition, and a lot of lines that kind of um, overlap or create movement. He also has a lot of lines that, like how I did right here that aren't really part of the um, actual form but kind of accent it. So maybe my planet, I do that kind of texture that he does with kind of like stitches almost that are on the edges of things. And then it's almost like there's a vibration around objects that have these like kind of crazy outlines that go around them. I think I'm going to do one of the swirly ones. I'm going to divide the sky a little bit. Maybe this represents energy. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I did say I wanted to do more farm stuff. So maybe I'll do some rows in the grass that look like crop. So another thing you can do is as you are uploading your final image, you can also share with me some of your thoughts. What are the, some of the images that you drew? Why did you draw them? How is your artwork kind of related to Pascal would do his? Maybe some darker colors for the background. Another thing is that, like, if you didn't want the white spaces in here like this, um, and the great thing about JS Paint is that you could have done the background first and then after that painted on top of it. I knew that was going to happen, but I just kind of got carried away. Uh, remember, there's also always the undo feature in JS Paint. So if you mess up something, like I'm going to mess up right now on purpose, I'm going to go all the way through and go to edit, undo. And you can keep going to edit, undo, edit, undo until you get back to where you messed up. If you went back too far, you can push repeat. And it's kind of like edit redo. Okay, this is where I want to be. Once I am done, make sure that you save your work, file save, or take a screenshot of it before you exit.